There is no more hold time available because there's no more margin on the battery. So if we hold, have a hold, we have to recycle back to T-minus 10 minutes and recharge those batteries. The count continues. A note now, shortly after liftoff. One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T-minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is Ground the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. The ALS Take chat, your protein sure pills and put your helmets on. Go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. Ground the space launch system is now counting tones. down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Commencing countdown engines on. Launch team, we recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now Check flowing in under the ML. And may God's love and be with you. And here we go. Hydrogen burn off the night is initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engines start. Three, two, one, boosters in the ignition. And lift off. Ground control to Major Tom. Back to the moon. You really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. stage. Next up we'll be looking for the service module fairing to separate. This is three 15 by 15 foot fairing panels providing structural support protecting the service module. Those will separate about 3 minutes and 11 seconds into flight and very shortly thereafter will be followed by the launch abort system separation. Just over three minutes into the flight of Artemis 1 now traveling over 4,060 miles per hour, 83 miles downrange. We just had confirmation that the service module fairing has separated. And that the launch abort system pyros have fired, separating those from Orion as well. For future crew members, 